All right, boys, what is up today? We're going to be breaking down a game from Beifeng, aka the 1800LP Kiana. If you're a Midbeast fan, he's playing Kiana. Support in the bot lane, which is pretty new. A lot of you guys have been asking me about my thoughts on the Kiana changes. Uh, just real quick, if you haven't seen what happened, they gave her a slight nerf to her base health regen. And um, what else did they do? I know they messed up her EQ real good. So basically, it doesn't auto-aim anymore. Or rather, it doesn't follow flash or dashes, but you also can't aim it yourself, so it's kind of in a really weird spot right now. They're reverting it next patch, but they are also buffing her Q damage to jungle monsters. So they're trying to push a lot of these assassins into the jungle, which is really interesting, I think. I mean, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Like all these um, assassins, so Zed, Talon... And now Kiana are getting jungle buffs. So I, I'm not sure if Riot's trying to shift the jungle meta or what's going on. But anyway, this game, specifically Beifeng, is the uh, the rank 1 Kiana in Korea. He's solo killed Faker on the Chinese super server. Basically, the reason that Kiana has actually become popular again is actually playing Kiana support. He goes cull, he still takes electrocute and his normal runes, but he starts cull. And without spoiling too much, he really, really hard carries this game from support. So, trust me, just watch all the way through, you guys will see. We're breaking it down as we go. He's getting shoved under tower at the start here, but I mean, it's a it's a Lux Varus lane. It's really just not good at all. Mainly carries around the grass, which is fair. Gets some nice poking on the Varus. Picks up grass again. Dodges out on the Lux Q. Samira's going to go in here, actually. Look at that damage. Oh, and he takes Ignite, by the way. Samira goes down. Is he going to run away or is he going to try and turn this? Picks up the grass, autos once, throws the grass out. Didn't get the extra damage from the passive uh, W. Nice. This is going to be a kill over to the Yi. Yi waits the flash out before he Qs. Should be a kill. Oh, okay, there we go. That was a lot of damage from his auto, actually. So not a bad start to the bot lane. Picks up two assists. They're going to shove this in and he's going to reset. Now, I'm not actually sure how he builds, so... Because I haven't watched this game all the way through, but... Be interesting to see what items he picks up if he goes the regular build. Oh, one more thing that I meant to mention at the start. Serpent's Fang. Also in the same patch as the Kiana nerf, Serpent's Fang got... Fairly gutted, we'll say. So, his new preferred build, and what I would say the recommended build is... Just let me turn my sound down a little bit. Uh, the recommended build is Prowlers into Yumus. So it's a lot heavier on roaming. Serpents was in a very strong spot, to be fair. I know uh, Beifeng would always build it second item, no matter what. Even if there was no shields or anything for the item to actually counter, he would still build Serpent second. And then Sreld you was... <laughs> Sreldas? Sreldas? I don't know how to pronounce that item. And then he'd go that third pretty much every single time. And then the rest would be fairly situational, but... It'd be interesting to see what he does this game. Nice little poke with the Ice Q. So he still uses a lot of the basic combos in bot lane, like E through the minion to get some poke with Q. A lot of the fundamentals are the same. Dodges out on the Lux Q nicely. Kane's going to come in for a gank, actually. He should be able to survive this. Going to W away nicely. Dodges out on the Kane W. Still gets it. Oh! That's going to be a trade. Not bad. And then Samira's going to pick up some solo XP here as well, which is good. Might get dived, actually. We'll see. <laughs> Lux is looking for that dive. She's walking up very aggressively. So at the moment, he's holding onto a long sword, refillable, and boots. It's 
He's going to pick up all of this XP and farm for himself. Dodges the Varus Q nicely. <laughs> Cancel Lux's recall. That was a nice snare. He's doing a lot of damage. Like, you guys can see. Like, it's actually really crazy the amount of damage that he does. Even though he's playing support. He's got no farm. Only has two assists. <laughs> JCQ comes flying in. It's a Jace mid, just roaming down for a little bit of poke, I guess. It's mirror back in lane. They can probably start looking for a solo kill here. It's oh, wow. And yeah, he runs ignite as well. So it's definitely a very aggressive uh, support pick here. Probably similar to, I guess, Pantheon. Or any other of those uh, assassin bot lane supports where you're trying to get a bunch of kills. She does actually have a bunch of utility when you think about it. She's got her ice Q and then when you hit 6 her stun, her ult can actually stun a lot of people. So it's really not the trolliest pick in the world. With that being said, I really hope I don't see this popping up in my solo queue games. Definitely don't try this at home unless you're a Bayfair. Looks like he's gonna go for a roam maybe towards mid or he's just gonna get some vision. It's not really much for him to. Oh, sees Kane on the dragon actually. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, and he gets the dragon as well. I think he's gonna die here though. I would still say that's worth. That's very tilting if you're Kane. To get one shot by the Kiana support. Not really much you can buy here. I think he's just going to walk back to land. Or he's going to roam towards top. Currently 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Respectable scoreline for an off-meta pick. One of the things that is really a bit weak when you play Kiana support compared to mid is the XP. You can still get solo kills, you can still get gold and all that stuff, but your XP is always going to be behind the solo laners. So Kali make it out here? That would be really upsetting. It's going to EQ. That was really well played. W to dodge the minion wave so he could connect with that Q. Maybe going to die here. He can pick up grass and dodge. Graves. Not walking down. I don't think he had a minion wave, so I mean, that's fair. Samira is actually doing a really good job of surviving in the bot lane. I was going to say, that. oh, she's going to kill her. It's an interesting play. Is she going to double kill this? No. I was going to say she's doing a good job at surviving in the bot lane, but look, one for one trade on the tower. It's not that bad. She didn't miss out on a huge minion wave, which is okay. Normally going on for under the tower, it's only bad if you miss out on a bunch of XP. If there's a massive wave stacked under your tower, not fun times at all. Seems like he's looking for the cane here, or he's looking to catch Lux walking back to lane. Catch up the Lux, gonna alter into the wall. That is very decent damage for a support. He is fairly fed, actually. Oh, I mean, he's got four kills to assist at 10 minutes. That's not bad, actually. But, I mean, he only has Dirk and a Warhammer. Alright, he's going to head back to lane with this mirror. Lux is dead. Not sure where Varus is. He should be coming back to lane any moment. There he is. Not really much that he can do here. The Varus, I mean, he's just going to have to sit here and watch his tower get slowly whittled down. It looks like he's going to be going for a pretty roam heavy playstyle as a support. Walking towards the mid lane. He has his flash ready. He could flash EQ onto the Jace. I'm not going to have to, he's just going to EQ. 
Very nice damage. He's <laughs> definitely trying to take the kills for himself, which I mean, it's fair. Samira going for it. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage from the Varus. Samira with an interesting play in the bot lane, going for the 1v2. Alright, he's going to pick up the Prowlers, he's got a refillable, he's got a pink ward. He's actually fairly on pace with what items you would want if you were solo laning as Kiana. Like I said though, XP, not great. But if you're just trying to kill the support in ADC over and over again, it doesn't matter that much. Has his ult. Could E ult into the wall. Gets the shutdown on Varus. Really nice. Being able to 1v1 the ADC as a support, or really just anyone, Especially when they're squishies. I don't know if this would work into a bit of a tankier lane. Like a Leona Lucian or something. Or a Nautilus Lucian, or maybe even like a Thresh Lucian. Might be a bit harder. Gonna EQ. Wow, that was a big damage. Didn't even have to EQ to finish that off. Samira gonna die there, gets the one for one trade with Lux on the tower. Beifeng probably gonna shove this in. Not bad at all, sitting on 1300 gold. I'd say, I think it's definitely pretty safe to say that this is a really snowball dependent pick. Because if you're behind, there's really not much you can do apart from throw out your WQ and maybe ult in a team fight for CC. But the pressure that you can exert as a support just by being able to one-shot the AD carry or the support at any time is insane. Definitely would be a nice like stomp pick in lower elos. Dodges out on, blah, blah, on the Lux Q, excuse me. Really nice ult, max distance. Very brave tower dive from Yi. Gonna pick up the trade. Blue cane on the other team is interesting. Who do they have there? Jace, Akali, Kane, Blue cane, Lux, and Avaris. They have a decent amount of CC for Samira Yi, I suppose. Red Kane probably would have been a better choice given that they have a, a Kali and a Jace, but then again, I'm not a Kane main, I don't really know how he works if I'm being honest. But given everyone else on the team is fairly squishy, it would be nice to have a little bit of frontline, but anyway. He's gonna walk up to the top lane here, gonna try and catch a Kali. I think she's just dead. Gets popped by the Victor laser. Very nice. Bot lane tower goes down. Looks like he's just gonna trade it out for the top side jungle. Maybe look for a solo kill on the Varus. Doesn't have his ult up though. Dodge. <laughs> that was a really nice dodge on the Varus ult. Sidesteps it like it's nothing. He's doing crazy damage here. Doesn't even need to ult. But he will have it up for this cane here. Probably gonna jump over the wall. Ooh. Unlucky aim. I think Lux is gonna go down. Beifeng's gonna chase down the low health cane. Who seems to be chilling under tower? No, maybe not. I guess he's just. Oh no, he's in the wall. There we go. Jace showing up. Not ideal. Bush doesn't appear to be warded. This, it, yeah, I was gonna say, it would be a very hard tower dive. Never mind, Kane's there. Really nice combo. Prowl is in and then ease out to get the gap close away from the Jace. Really nice combo. So when you're in range like that, you can Prowlers towards 
the enemy that you're trying to purse down, and because it puts you behind them, you can E back out after you've done your combo, which is really nice for situations like that, where if he stayed in, he would have definitely gotten cleaned up by the Jays. Looks like they're probably just going to take this tower and reset. He's got a nice amount of gold. I think he's going to go for the Yumus here. Oh my god. Annoying. Yeah, I'm guessing he's going to go for the Yumus here. Yep. Picks up the Ghost Blade, a Pink Ward. Hasn't finished his boots yet, which is interesting. Normally, if he's playing mid lane, he'll finish his boots a lot earlier. Especially because he's playing like a really roam heavy playstyle, but I mean, he's this far ahead, I guess. He can really just do whatever he wants. Gonna look for an ult here to engage. Luck's getting poked down a lot. She's actually doing a really good job of clearing out these bushes without face checking them. Gonna get the kill on the Lux. Is he gonna get out though? I feel like he might pay for the. Whoa! It's a really good ult to catch everyone, but he's still gonna go down here. Ye feeling a little bit overconfident. Honestly, probably not the greatest play before Dragon comes up. I think they're still in a pretty good spot anyway. Akali is actually pretty big now. 7 and 2, just picked up a triple kill. I think they're just going to have to give this Dragon. One Dragon in the grand scheme of things. Not that bad. I don't think he could have played that any better. Either way, he's just going to have to trade that one for one. Dragon going over to the opposition team. And look at this move speed that you get from the Yumus. Like, he's just flying through the river. Yeah, the Varus can't step anywhere near him. He, he, like, he just really owns this bot side jungle right now. Looks like he's going to get the Lux. Nice. I mean, it, under normal circumstances, this would probably be not a bad game for Serpents at all. It's a really nice dodge by Akali. But um, yeah, you've got the Eclipse on Jace, you've got the Lux Shield. Kali going very deep. Probably not a fight they want to take. <laughs> Graves is not even here. Yeah, I think he's just going to let his team die. Is he going to go for this? So patient just waiting back here. Massive burst onto the Akali. Fortunately, goes down to the cane. This damage from a support is really insane. Akali has hourglass as well. Managed to burst her through the armor, which is, I mean, impressive. She does have two levels up on him, though. This is what I was saying before. Unlike when you're solo laning, you're going to be behind in XP, which is why it's so important that you can snowball a little bit. Team calling for an FF here. 
Really interesting. I haven't actually watched this game, but I do know that they win. And I do know that he hard carries. Honestly, if this was me, I would be losing hope a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how he manages to carry this one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Akali... Oh, not the Akali. The Kiana changes that are going to be coming next patch. I think her Q damage to monsters got increased from 125% to 150%. So she's going to be an absolute menace in the jungle. Hits a nice ult. Misses the follow-up Q, unfortunately. Kane flying in through the walls. <laughs> Pops him instantly. That's some massive damage. He's building Mira Mana. It's looking very, very grim for Beifeng here. But yeah, I do not think the changes to Kiana are going to leave her in a healthy state as a jungler. And by that, I mean, I think she's going to be very strong. She's already quite good as a jungler. On top of that, they're going to make her EQ combo a little bit more forgiving. That's what Riot said. They didn't say what specifically they were going to do to it. So I don't know if it's going to be fully reverted, but... In the patch notes or in like the the pre-patch notes they said they're gonna make it a little bit more forgiving so we'll see what that actually entails gets the pick onto lux here i think he can burst down kane very nice 1000 gold shutdown on the kane So, I mean, you can see here, if you get a good enough lead, you're still very, very comfy. Like, he's bursting down this Kane, who is a whole level above him. It was two levels, I think, during that fight. I think Beifeng leveled up after he killed the Kane. Team getting some nice kills in the bot lane, actually. <laughs> They're still calling for an FF after they've just aced the enemy team. I think that was the swing that they needed to get back into the game. I would honestly really like to see Kiana getting some sort of gameplay at Worlds. Whether it's as a jungler or a laner, it would just be really nice to see. I know Faker has been playing her a little bit in solo queue, but... I don't know about any of the other pros or pros that are going to Worlds. Not sure who has been playing up. Kane in a spot of bother here. Doesn't even need to burn his ult. Picks up two people, the Jace and the Lux with his ult. Unfortunately, not to clean, not able to clean anyone else up. Does get the Kane. So you got 3200 gold here. Still hasn't bought boots. Or upgraded boots, I should say, before someone points that out to me in the comments. Very close. So it looks like the build that he's decided to go. Prowlers, Yumus, Edge of Night third. Which is understandable. They're all pretty squishy, so you want to be picking up some of that lethality. And then Grudge, fourth. As everyone starts to get a little bit tankier. He's going to make his way up to the top lane. He can definitely clean up this fight. Salt's going to be up in three seconds. See how he plays it. Very big EQ. Pops the cane instantly. I did not think he would do that much damage. Gets one, not two. 
Varus manages to live. It was a close one. It was a close one. I'm actually not sure how Varus made it out of that ult. I don't know if he didn't get hit or what. But it happens. Victor doing massive damage onto the Lux. Is he finally going to pick up Boots? I want to see what Boots he goes. If he's going to go Mobius or if he's going to go cooldown Boots. Or maybe something else, I'm not sure. Picks up Mobius. Very fast boy right now. <laughs> Looking at his movement speed, I don't blame him. Looks like he's going to be making his way towards the Baron to clear some vision. Spots out two wards and Kane. Unfortunately, misses the ult. Still gets some insane damage. Big shutdown on Kane as well. That's unfortunate. Would have been really nice to get a pick on their jungler as Baron's coming up, but it doesn't matter because Jace is gone. Dodges out on the Kali and the Lux. He's already done enough in this fight. Picks up the Lux and that's an ace. I don't know if they can do the Baron. I don't think they can. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to go for the Dragon instead. I have no idea what that means, but it is very rare to see Feng type. I think in all of his games, actually, I don't think I've seen him type before. So, interesting. That's something you guys should take note of as well. Stop typing so much in your solo queue games. It doesn't matter. Alright, looks like they're going to make their way over to the Baron now. Varus and Akali just coming up. Honestly, the way things are looking, I think either they're going to take this Baron and just end the game, or they're going to fight and wipe the enemy team. Victor doesn't need to be sitting there, he should just be hitting the Baron, letting Bayfan get a pick. Ooh. Clunky EQ combo. I think he's still done enough in that fight. Picks up the Lux, ults the Varus. He's done enough damage for his team to hopefully clean this up. Hmm, there you can fight that. Samira trying to be a bit of a hero by the looks of it. You gonna make it out of this? Nah, I get smited. Unfortunate. That was pretty int by the victor, I think. I think he should have just been hitting the Baron there. And they would have won that fight. Man, I wish I knew what he was saying. Is there subtitles on this video? No, not by the looks of it. Shout out to um the person who uploads all of these gameplays, by the way. I believe his channel is called LOL Challenger CN. If that's right, I mean, I hope that's right. I'll be putting a link to it in the description anyway. Go check this guy out. He puts in crazy amounts of, like, I don't know if he looks through the VODs or what, but he is just a lifesaver. Deserves a lot more credit than what's he, what he gets. All right, everyone is sitting around full build here. I think the next fight will definitely decide the game. 33 minutes in, death timers are really long. Unless the enemy team gets aced inside Beifeng's base or something, they should be able to end it. Spots out a lot of people in the bush. Nice ult. Hitting three people. He does have GA, so he can go down here. He's buying a lot of time. GA gets popped. He's already done enough. This should 100% be a team fight win. It's a really, really 1v9 team fight from Beifeng. He bought so much time and did so much damage. 
Very nice. Auto EQ combo. Auto for the extra damage from his W passive. EQ to finish it off. It should be enough. I think they end the game here. I think Kane's death timer is too staggered for them to actually be able to stop them from pushing this in. Unless Akali can pull off some crazy play, it looks like they're pretty doomed. The last line of defense, Akali going in, pops the shroud, everyone's looking for it. Not badly played actually. Feng picks up the kill though. Times the Q perfectly. Doesn't look like he thinks they can end the game. Or maybe he just wants to keep the... Oh no. There we go. They're all up. They can't end it. Akali has managed to stall the game out at least for a little bit. But... I think Feng's a bit too strong. 23 kills currently as a Kiana support. Dodges the Lux ult. Dodges a bunch of skill shots. I don't know if they even know he's there. He's just going to be able to kill the Varus. Alt gets zonyard. <laughs> W's into the JCQ, that's unfortunate. A lot of damage coming out from the Samira actually, I think Kane's gonna go down here. Unfortunately, bit squishy, blue Kane. Not the tankiest man in the world. I think he just sold his GA because the passive was gone. I wonder what he's going to pick up now. I actually don't know what would be a good buy here. Yeah, he's just going to buy the GA again. Nope, never mind. What's he looking for? Hovering over the Infinity Edge. Please buy an Infinity Edge. I would love to see that. Death stance. Made up his mind, he's gonna head towards the Elder Drake. Honestly, at this point of the game, if they can get Elder Drake, it's really just an auto win. Graves goes down before the dragon spawns. His death timer is gonna he's not gonna be up by the time it spawns. Interesting. Let's see how he plays this now. Because they can't go for the dragon unless they get a pick on someone. Victor in dangerous territory as well. Throws the ult out onto the wall. Picks up one person. EQs into the fight with grass. Is he going to pick up grass again? He picks it up again so we can stall this out a little bit longer. Samira actually doing some nice damage in this fight. I wasn't the hugest team fight to win the game, but he's definitely earned this win. You can't say that he did not earn this win. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye.